hello friends in this series we will create forms in react we will create three types of forms first one will be standard form second one will be using formic and yup and third one will be using react hooks so let's set up our application by using create react app for that we need to come to visual studio code i am already in visual studio code and to open the terminal we need to press control and tab key sorry control and back tick key now here i will create my application on desktop so i need to go to my desktop so cd desktop and here i'll write npx create react app and name of my application will be react forms and i'll press enter so basically it will take some time because it is installing packages of react react dome and react script so for a moment i will pause the video and i'll come back so our application has been installed now i'll open the folder so we need to click on open folder and here is the folder react forms okay so we need to open it So once again, we need to open the terminal. So control and back tick key. And here I'll write npm start. Okay, so now we need to go to Visual Studio Code and I'll clean up few files which are not required. So I'll remove logo.svg. This is not required. And I'll go to app.js and here I'll remove the logo.svg. And here I'll remove, let me minimize this. Let me remove this header. And here I'll write React Forms. Let me save this and let's go to the browser and check. So here it is react forms. Let's go to visual studio code. And now I'll create the first component. So for that, I will uh, uh, in the source folder, I will create a folder with the name components. And inside components, I will create a new file standard forms dot js. And here I'll create a class based component so i am using uh, the extension es7 react redux graphql so to use the shortcut to create a class based component i'll write r c e and press tab okay so this is a class based component and here i will write i'll give an h1 tag react forms Okay, let me save this file. We need to import this component in app.js. First, let me close this. So we need to go to app.js and here I will import the component. So import standard forms from dot slash components slash standard forms. So now, uh, let's render this standard form so standard forms okay let's save this now let's go to the browser and see okay so here it is we got react forms here i'll write standard form okay so now here it is standard forms okay now uh the next thing is we need to we will be using bootstrap in our application so let's go to the browser and here i'll write get bootstrap.com and you can install by using npm install bootstrap but uh, i'll be using bootstrap cdn which is much easier than that so let's copy the css link and let's go to the visual studio code and here i will go to public folder ht index.html and above the title, I'll paste it. Okay. 
let's save this and then again i need to copy this urls and let's go to visual studio code and before the body tag ends we need to paste it let's save this okay and now let's go to the browser and check so as you can see uh, now the styling of standard form has been changed so now the styling is coming from bootstrap okay so we have successfully installed uh, bootstrap in our application and we have also create our uh, component so this is it for this video and i'll see you in the next video if you like the video please like comment and share with your friends and uh, please subscribe to my channel and i i'll see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye